Good evening, Coffee Sam. Getting ready to close up shop, huh? Yes, past dinner time. <laughs> That's right. You have got quite a few mouths to feed, haven't you? Huh? Those house guests to yours. Oh, my models. Yeah. I see what you mean. Luckily, they don't eat very much. No, I guess not. Well, good night, Mr. Shainer. Good night. Amuse you, sir. I said, uh, my pets amuse you, sir. Your pets? My creations, if you please. You find them amusing? Well, hardly that. Interesting, yes, but I wouldn't call them amusing. That you laughed? I heard you laughing. Relief, not amusement. To tell you the truth, they rather startled me at first. I thought they were alive. They're very lifelike, you know. <laughs> but of course, very lifelike. Very. But that's to be expected, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Not all wax museums. If you don't mind, sir, Glyptothek. Pardon me? I prefer to call my establishment Glyptothek. Glyptos and Theka from the Greek, a repository of uh, carvings. I see. Then I guess you must call yourself a uh, Glyptocator, huh? <laughs> no, uh, a serologist, the one who works in wax, an artist in wax. I see. Yes, perhaps you're right. I guess you are an artist at that. These, um, creations of yours, they're very good. You really think so? <laughs> Thank you. That's very nice of you to say so. Credit where credit is due. But you are too kind. I don't deserve so much. It isn't if I... Well, <laughs> what I mean to say, would you like me to show you through the museum? Yeah. The charge is very small. It's only 25 cents. Uh, no, thank you. Not today. I, some other time, perhaps. I, I've got to go and... Uh, well, uh, I, I might as well. I, I, I'd be glad to, if it uh, wouldn't cause you too much trouble. No trouble. I'd be delighted to show you around. <laughs> thank you. I hope it won't detain you. It must be... Almost closing time? Oh, Dad, <laughs> don't let that bother you. <laughs> now we won't be bothered. It's too late for visitors, anyway. Not very bright in here. Not very. I cannot use very heavy bulbs. <laughs> uh, heat on the wax figures, you know. Yes, of course. Are you sure that you want to see them? Uh, certainly, why not? Very well. Let's begin here. This is a very fascinating case, a very fascinating. This is the old boy that nearly scared the wits out of me a few moments ago. He would have frightened you even more had you met him in real life. His name is Roger Saunders. Roger Saunders? You heard of him? I don't know. Name sounds a bit familiar. No, oh, not that I can recall. He was a famous poisoner. You must remember the case 12 years ago. He murdered his brother. His brother's wife, her five-year-old child. He hoped to inherit his brother's business, but never lived long enough to enjoy his ill-gotten gains. A poisoner, you say? That's right. Cyanide of potassium. Not a very typical pose, is it? I beg your pardon. Well, of course, I don't know anything about your art. I'm just a layman. But I should think it would have made a more effective pose to show him in the commission of his crime. His crime? Well, you know, leaning over a figure in the bed, administering the fatal draft, some such pose as that. 
I'm afraid that would have been quite impossible, Mr. Uh, Cavendish, and you? Shainer, Mr. Cavendish. Impossible, you say, but why? Simply because I couldn't... Well, uh, there are certain technical problems I can't explain, certain... <laughs> well, now, this next one... Now, this here is a fig uh, representation the infamous Nicolas Rodriguez, Slick Nick, the underworld called him. <laughs> knife was his favorite weapon. No one knows how many victims... A knife? You see, Shainer, that's what I mean. You say a knife was his favorite weapon, yet you depict him just standing here. No knife in his hand. No, no victim at his mercy. Nothing to show he's a killer. Nothing? Good heavens, sir, how can you say a thing like that? Can't you read it in his face? Look at his taut, strained lines between his brows. Creases scoring his swarthy cheeks from flared nostrils to the tense jawline. Isn't that enough to tell you what he is? Do I have to embellish my work with foolish props and labels to let people know what's here depicted? Can't you read murder in his eyes, in his heart? Can't you see the mark of Cain upon his brow? Don't get so excited, Shainer. I'm not trying to be critical, you know. But perhaps you're too close to your own work to see it as an outsider sees it. That expression now, it is horrible, it's true. But it looks more frightened than frightening. As if your killer were the hunted rather than the hunter. Or a criminal brought to bay. Yes, that too. But it's not your aim to depict that. That's where you are wrong. That's precisely my aim to depict that. Well, in that case, you've succeeded. But I don't see Let why... it pass. Now, here is one you may approve. Shainer, I'm sorry if I've offended you. Believe me, I didn't mean to be critical. His name was Harry Brashley. His method of murder was quite unique. He used an air embolism. Ever heard such a thing? He injected an air bubble in his victim's bloodstream with a hypodermic needle. And when it reached the heart... Another murderer? Of course. What did you expect? Well, in a place like this, some variation of the subject matter. Replicas of famous persons, perhaps. Napoleon, Washington, Lincoln. My dear sir, I'm a serologist, not a cheap pander to hero worship in public. But at Madame Tussauds in London. Madame Tussauds? You dare to compare me? It's a big place, an important place. My dear Mr. Cavendish, if you don't enjoy my exhibition... And if you're going to be so confounded touchy about your work, well, we'll never understand each other. Forgive me, Shana. Forgive me. I was only trying to be helpful. Uh, perhaps... Shh, shh, shh. What's the matter? The whistles. An accident, perhaps? No, that's the police. They've been going all evening. I wonder. Where are you going? I have a radio here. There might be something about it on the 8 o'clock news. Excuse me. A dragnet around the city, and police are combing the neighborhood where the killer is last known to have been. The police believe there is a link between Shana. this crime and a series Shh, of brutal crimes it. of similar nature that have plagued this city during the past year and have aroused the citizenry to an unprecedented fever of anger and retribution. Bands of armed men, volunteer deputies of the sheriff's office, are aiding the regular Shana, police I don't see why. unrelenting Listen, search for the bestial please. slayer of John Henderson, 22-year-old bank messenger, whose mutilated body was found floating in the South River approximately two hours after Henderson's dispatch case was found empty in an abandoned building on State Street. Police have alerted authorities in all nearby cities and asked them to maintain a careful search for the stolen money, the serial numbers of which were recorded by the city and county bank. It is hoped that identification of the killer may follow an attempt on his part to pass any portion of the $50,000, which was the amount bank authorities claim Henderson was carrying at the time of his murder. And now for state news. Evil, At a special meeting of the legislative body field. this afternoon, it was disclosed Money. that the governor... It's marked. No, not marked. Only the serial numbers recorded. But it amounts to the same thing. 
He'll never be able to spend it. If he does, they'll catch him. Yes. And if they don't, I will. Yes. You will. Oh, forgive me, sir. Please don't mind me. I feel too strongly on the subject. I get carried away. Shall we go on with the tour of the museum? Yes. If you wish. Now, this is a very, very intriguing case. The charming Miss Margaret Raiden. She murdered her mother-in-law with a knitting needle. Another murderer. But of course, didn't you know it? That's my mission in life. Your mission? My sacred mission, one which will not end until justice is meted out to Earth's last murder. What the devil are you talking about? Talking about murder. The most horrible of all crimes. I hate it, Cavendish. I loathe and despise it with every nerve and fiber of my being. You... That's why I made it my mission in life to show the world these fiends in their human form, to display them in all their brutality, so men can view them, tremble, and take heed. There are other crimes besides murder. I should think that in a museum of this sort, you would try to show all kinds of crime. But it is murder which must be thwarted and exposed. The taking of a human life, the destruction of a living soul. Is there any more evil in humanity that can be practiced? Any single act more criminal than that? Yes, you're right, of course. But I still don't think that I... Forgive me, sir. Do I make you uneasy? Uneasy? Of course not. It's just that you seem to feel so, so strongly on this subject. I know. I apologize. It is something of an obsession with me, one I must really curb. I'm afraid my attitude is one of the reasons that my little museum is not more popular with the general public. Yes, I shouldn't be surprised. Well, shall we get on with the tour? Oh, yes, of course. Now, this here is a very interesting... This one interests me. Tell me about him. Uh, that is Dr. Lorenzo Hartwell, the physician. He disposed of four of his victims. Hartwell, you say? Dr. Hartwell? That's right. But Hartwell was never captured. I remember reading about the case. He was never captured because... Because... Why? You must be mistaken, sir. Now, if you'd step over here... Because he could never be identified. Hartwell had been an erratic recluse for years. No one knew him well. Really? Now that you mention it, might have been so. You have an image of him. Complete in every last detail. Shana. Yes? Where did you get the description from which this figure was modeled? Where? Well, offhand, I don't remember. It must have appeared in print, a newspaper. It didn't, Shana. Perhaps a magazine? No. Oh, it must have been a photograph. There were no photographs of Dr. Hartwell. None ever existed. That's why the police never found him. No. Look here. I am an artist. I have my methods. Yes, that's right. You're an artist in wax. You have your methods, the dipping vat, the paste, the brushes. Shana, tell me the truth. This lifelike figure, is it a model of Dr. Hartwell or is it really Dr. Hartwell himself? You dare to suggest it. Yes, it is. It was Dr. Hartwell. <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> no, please. You mustn't laugh. I beg of you. You don't understand. I understand plenty. 
I understand more than you think, you mealy-mouthed old scoundrel. So you hate murder, do you? With 24 victims to your credit, you pretend to be a benefactor of mankind. I am. I am precisely that, sir. How did you kill them? A knife? A pistol? Or into the towel of that alive, maybe? But, but you're wrong. You are wrong, sir. I was trying to tell you, but you won't listen. I didn't kill them. No, I suppose they killed themselves. That's it. That's exactly what happened. They killed themselves. Out of remorse, no doubt. No. Or because they were tired of living. No. Or because you forced them to at the point of your gun. Please, sir. They sir. killed themselves, you say? Then how? How? They killed themselves by looking. Looking? Looking at what? Looking at... You ever heard of the Gorgon's head? The what? The Gorgon's head. The mask of Medusa. Medusa? Yes, the monster in the fairy tale, the myth, the fable. No myth, Cavendish, no fable. Medusa was real. She lived. How many years ago? No man can even guess. So long ago that in our folk tales, we have only some confused accounts of her exploits and her horror. Like the story of the hero Perseus, who slew her... Looking upon his polished shield because it was death to see her face. Yes, Shainer, I remember. So horrible was the mask of Medusa that merely to gaze upon it turned men to... turned men to stone. Yes, Cavendish. Even as these. As these? <laughs> but that's insane. Impossible. You think so? Medusa never really lived. She was just a myth. A symbol of something the ancients could not understand. So terrible to look upon, the very sight of her chilled the blood, but not to stone. That's fantastic. Cavendish, you wouldn't care to look upon the mask of Medusa yourself. I? You're crazy. I'm completely sane. All this wild talk about the mask of Medusa. But it isn't wild talk, it's here. Here? Yes, in this very museum. Cavendish, I found it long ago in the wild lost grottos of Greece. Where and how, it doesn't matter now, but I have it. And it has been my means of fulfilling my mission in life. The destruction of those who slay their fellow man. You're mad. No, I am sane. Holy sane. Gloriously sane. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? Don't laugh, please. please don't you believe me? Don't you... All right, Shana. Let's stop the clowning, shall we? It's a good joke, but I'm in no mood for funny business. A joke, I can assure you. Yes, that... yes, I know. Let's settle down and talk business. Sit down. Sit down. But I don't understand. Then I'll make it clear to you. Let's forget this crazy talk about Medusa. Crazy, but I told you I have the mask of Medusa in my possession. Of course you have, of course. Let's face it, you're a killer. No. A killer. You know it and I know it. You're obsessed. Obsessed with the idea of ridding the world of murderers. And somehow you've succeeded in stuffing this entire hall of horrors with a collection of your grisly trophies. But I didn't kill them. I told you they killed themselves. Yes, yes, I know, by looking. All right, stick to that story if it pleases you. But I don't imagine you'd want the police to snoop around here and dissect one of your stone models, would you? What are you driving at? What do you want of me? Your help, Shana. My help? How? I suddenly find it necessary to leave town. Oh, don't let that startle you. Do as I say and nothing will happen to you, to either of us. You see, Shainer, I don't like the police any more than you do. That's why I'm here now. That's why I want to get away. I... you... You could help me. Help you how? You're a businessman. You could crate up one of your lifelike models and ship it out of town on a truck without arousing suspicion, couldn't you? Of course, but... but and if I were the model, see what I mean? I'm beginning to. You said you feared the police. You are not a... not a murderer. I just told you I was in trouble. I want your help. Well, what do you say? It would take money. I would have to rent a truck. I am not a wealthy man. Don't let the money worry you. I'll take care of that. Oh! So it was you. 
You murdered and mutilated that man. Don't be an idiot. What I did or did not do is no concern of yours. What's that? I don't know. Mr. Shainer. Mr. Shainer. Shainer. Don't answer. I got to his Brady, the patrolman. Patrolman? You're caught, Cavendish. There is no way out. He'll find you here. Oh, no, he won't. Not unless you want to die, too. Mr. Shainer, you in there? Go to the door. But if you breathe one word about my being here, you're finished, you understand? You would kill me in cold blood. In cold blood, my friend. I'll get rid of him. Good. Now you're showing some sense. Not one word, not one sign, you understand? Yes, I understand. I'm coming. Oh, it's you, officer. Yes. Yeah. Say, is everything all right in here, Mr. Shainer? Of course. Well, you was a long time coming to the door. I was in the back of the shop. Have you been knocking long? A couple of minutes. I guess I didn't hear you at first. Is there anything wrong, officer? No, I guess not. We're just making a routine check. Check on what? Well, we're looking for a man, a killer. He was last seen somewhere in this neighborhood. A killer? What does he look like? Oh, about six foot two, heavy set, dark hair, dark eyes, gray suit. You seen anybody like that, Mr. Shainer? No. Not that I recall. Well, well, I guess I'll be getting along. But you call us if you hear anything suspicious. I'll do what I can. Good night, officer. Good night. Very good, Shainer. You're a sensible man. Murderer. Murderer! You too, my friend. No, I'm not! Yes, you are. Did you ever hear of an accessory after the fact? You see, Shana, we're in this together now. You've got to help me whether you want to or not. Never. I turn you to into... the police? And have me tell them what I know about these pets of yours? You wouldn't have to go to the police, you murderer. I don't have to. The telephone call would bring them here after I've gone. As a matter of fact, I can call them now. I can be out of here by the time they No, I wait! Yes? I don't want to do this. I never want to do this. But in this case, it must be done. You will help me, then. Good. I'll do what I can. Believe me, Shana. It'll be better this way. Much better. I think so for both of us. So you didn't believe my story about the Gorgon's head? It rang on true. That fairy tale for children? But I'm a grown man. No, I didn't believe it. I tried to convince you. But since I failed... Wait a minute, Shainer. What are you doing? Look, murderer. Look up on the face of doom. <laughs> the crimson mask of Medusa. Murderer. Murderer. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hi there, Mr. Shainer. Hi, officer. I see you got another mouth to feed, huh? Huh? Oh, I see what you mean. My new model. Last night I got him. <laughs> Luckily, he doesn't eat very much. Oh, I guess not. Well, I'll see you later, Mr. Shainer. Bye-bye, officer. <laughs> <laughs> 